Homeostasis of Thyroxin by kscience.com. The hypothalamus below the brain detects thyroxin levels in the blood. So when thyroxin levels are low, when they're low, the hypothalamus detects this and secretes TRH. The hypothalamus secretes TRH, which travels the blood to the pituitary gland. The pituitary gland. So the hypothalamus secretes TRH into the blood and it goes to the pituitary gland. TRH then stimulates the production of TSH from the pituitary gland. TSH travels to the thyroid gland. So the pituitary gland secretes TSH, which then goes to the thyroid gland. This then stimulates the production of thyroxin. The effects of thyroxin are as follows. So thyroxin, what it does is it goes to the heart and it causes the heart muscle cells to contract faster. So too much thyroxin will increase heart rate and potentially blood pressure. It also increases the protein and carbohydrate breakdown. So it increases protein and carbohydrate breakdown. So it increases your metabolism. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. When thyroxin levels increase, they travel the blood, and the hypothalamus will detect increased levels of thyroxin. So there are increased thyroxin levels. The hypothalamus detects this increased levels of thyroxin and stops TRH production. It stops TRH production. So increased thyroxin levels in the blood stops or decreases TRH levels being produced, which stops or decreases TSH production by the pituitary gland. Stops or decreases TSH production in the pituitary gland because there's no TRH or less TRH. Then there's a decrease in thyroxin levels being produced by the thyroid gland. So now the levels of thyroxin are going to decrease which your hypothalamus will detect. So it now detects decreased levels of thyroxin in the blood. So now the hypothalamus will secrete TRH, which causes the pituitary gland to secrete TSH, which then causes the thyroid gland to produce thyroxin. And now thyroxin levels will increase, which the hypothalamus will detect. So then the hypothalamus stops producing TRH, which then causes the pituitary gland to stop secreting TSH, which means that the thyroid gland will produce less thyroxin. So the hypothalamus detects these decreased thyroxin levels, produce TRH, which then causes the pituitary gland to secrete TSH, and then the thyroid gland to produce more thyroxin. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Press pause to practice using those key words. The answers will follow. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. And if you're stuck, just rewatch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Visit kscience.com. For more free videos, worksheets and quizzes at kscience.com and don't forget to like and subscribe.